All right. Do you have a pen and a paper so that you can write down some information? Okay. All right. You can write down. My name is Officer Linda Watson. Hold on one second. Sorry. And my ID number is GS11747. Officer Linda Watson. Linda Watson. And what was the, the ID number? Okay, it's GS11747. 747. Yes. Okay, so can you tell me what this is about? Okay, before that, can you write down your guest, uh, guest file number? It's DC55321. 55321. Yes. Okay. Alright, the reason behind our call is Take down your attorney's information, that you is a legal allegation, and the lawsuit has been filed against you by the Internal Revenue Service. So, are oh you God. aware about the situation? Well, I don't, I don't understand why, though. Okay, I'll just go ahead and read out the legal charges against your name, all right? Okay. But before I do that, before I do that, do not interrupt me. I'll give you a fair enough chance to speak. Okay. Now, I said, now, I said, now, I said the documents. We conducted an audit on your taxes filed for the year 2012 to 2016, and we found that there was a miscalculation error for the taxes that you filed does not match the tax record that we have. So, according to Section 7201, that amount is still outstanding on your name, which you have not paid. And for that reason, the local authorities will come at your place, your driver's license will be cancelled, and everything under your name, your bank account, your driver's license will be cancelled. And you will also face federal imprisonment for up to five years. Now, the total outstanding amount on your name is $7,652, which includes your pending taxes, legal charges, and late fees. So, can I ask, you did this intentionally or it was an honest mistake? Do I get a court date? I'm sorry? Can I, can I get a court date to challenge it? I didn't get you. Can I get a court date to go to court? For in front of a judge, so I could challenge this to go to court. I don't get to go to court for this. All right. So you want to fight this inside the courthouse? I want. I want to try to go to court and and to fight it, so I can clear my name. I want a trial. I don't think that this is. This doesn't seem like this happened. I don't think this is accurate. All right, if you want to fight this inside the courthouse, then you need to hire a criminal lawyer and fight the case, all right? Well, can I get one appointed to me? I'm sorry? Can I get one appointed to me for free? No, you need to hire, all right? It's not for free. And if you hire a criminal attorney, then you need to spend, like, more than $75,000. That's only... <laughs> I don't have that and kind of you, money. All right. And if you want to resolve it, then you need to pay the outstanding amount, all right? I mean, if you want to resolve this outside the courthouse, then you need to pay the outstanding amount. If I pay the amount, will it still be on my record? I'm sorry? Will it stay on my record if I pay it and take care of it? Yes, yes. No, but I wanted to get off my record. I don't want people to look at my record and see anything like this, because it's not true. Yes. Yes, listen, if you, like, if you, if you solve this outside the courthouse by paying the outstanding amount, then of course your name will be cleared, all right? Okay, can you please just help me? All right, so, Mr. Johnson, do you have that outstanding amount to pay right now? I don't have $7,000 right now. Is there any kind of payment plan or something? All right, so... 
How much can you come up by today? I mean, how much can you pay by I, today? So, I, I can maybe wire you two, three thousand dollars right now. All right, just wait a moment, all right, so that I can transfer your calls to one of my senior officers, all right? Okay. All right, just be on the line. Thank you for holding the line and thank you for your patience. The line has been transferred with a senior in charge. I believe I'm speaking with Mr. Johnson. Yes. All right, Mr. Johnson. Yes. Senior in charge of Internal Revenue Service. This is Officer Michael Lee. Michael Lee. And with my federal, yeah, federal badge number is that I R M one five four four four. I R M. One five five four four. One five one five four four four. One five four four four. Okay. Correct. So I believe that officer was explaining you about your case, and you would like to go ahead and resolve this matter by paying the outstanding amount. Correct. Well, I told her I didn't have the whole outstanding amount. She said I owed something like seven thousand, and I told her I didn't have that much money right now. I, I said I could right. send what I could if there's some kind of payment plan or something. All right. So, like, right now at a point of moment, like, what is the amount that you have? I told her I have maybe two or three thousand dollars I can send. All right. So, you can go ahead and resolve this matter. Okay. They'll take that? I'm sorry? You guys would take that amount to resolve it? Yes. Okay. You can go ahead and pay that amount so that we can go ahead and resolve this matter. Okay. So do you like to go ahead and resolve this matter? Well, yeah, I don't want to go to jail. I'm sorry? Yeah, I don't want to go to jail. So you mean that you like to go ahead and fight against the Internal Revenue Service? No. Or I, do you like to go ahead and resolve this matter? I said I want to resolve it. I don't want to go to jail. All right. So what is the amount that you have get paid right now at a point of time? <sighs> the most I can do is 3000 that's okay. that's everything. Yeah. I'm not even gonna be able to pay my rent on time. All right, all right, not a problem. So I'll be the here. I will be the go ahead and guiding you where you can go ahead and verify the amount to the electronic federal tax payment system. So have you done like electronic federal tax payment system before? Um, I've heard of it. All right, you heard of it. So I'll I'm, I'll be the here to go ahead and guide you where you can go ahead and do that. There are some three protocols that you need to follow the courthouse procedure. The first protocol said, until unless you cannot go ahead and disconnect this line, once you go ahead and resolve this matter, we'll go ahead and give you the confirmation call and appointment number. Second thing is that, once you go ahead and pay that amount, we'll go ahead and give you appointment number and confirmation call. And the third protocol is that you cannot go ahead and disclose this matter to any third party resolving this case. Okay. Once you go ahead and resolve this matter, we'll go ahead and give, give you uh, we'll go ahead and give you a confirmation card and appointment number. All right. Okay. All right. So you need to follow my instructions. What exactly you need to do? So, like, do you have a debit card with you? Do I have a what? Do you have a debit card? No. Can I just wire you the money? I'm sorry. Can I just? Can you give me a bank account so I can wire the money to? I'm so sorry. Uh, there is a federal account. If you've done any mistake in the federal account number or federal account, then you might be face a big problem. That is the reason that payment more of electronic federal tax payment system that is called EFTPS. That is called electronic federal tax payment system that you need to follow my instructions. All right? Okay. All right. 
So what you can do right now at a point of moment, like, do you have a credit card with you or debit card with you? Where you can go ahead and swipe your debit card and you can go ahead and get an electronic federal tax payment system? No, I, w I would like to wire the money. If I could just wire it to you, just give me your bank account number and I'll just wire it to you. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I already told you that there, there is some poor allegation on your name. We don't think so that we cannot go ahead and give you a account number right now at the point of moment. Well, I don't have... More of electronic, electronic federal tax payment system where you can go ahead and... Go ahead and get a federal tax payment system card. I don't have a debit card, though. I'm sorry? I don't have a debit card or a credit card. All right. So I what can, you can do, you, you, you can go to your bank. I can send you a check. You can go to your bank and withdraw that fund. And then how do I send it to you? You don't need to send it to me. You need to convert your money to the electronic federal voucher. Okay. So what do I what, so do, what I do, do what you can do right now at a point of moment? Like how far is the bank for a location? Maybe like seven miles, but the, my car's acting up right now. How long time you are going to take? So part to of reach part of the bank? money was to fix my car and I did, just didn't expect for this to happen right now. It's not a, it's a horrible timing for me. See, I cannot go ahead and follow according to you. You need to follow my instruction, okay? But please just give me a break. Is there any way I can get like an extension or something? I don't want to go to jail. I got a lot of bills right now. And then my rent is coming right up and my car is not working well, right right now. Like just can I just get a couple months or something? You need to go to your bank. Please, and sir. Is there anything you can do to help me at least a little bit? I'm sorry? Is there anything you can do to help me at least a little bit? Just a little bit of an extension? I'm so sorry that we cannot go and give you the time and the period. And right now, you need to follow my trust. How long will I have to spend in jail then? How long will I have to spend in jail then? Because I can't afford to do it. How long See, do I have to spend are... in jail? Just right tell now, me. The government is not looking, looking for a small picture, okay? They are looking for a big picture. I'll just go to jail then. How much time? I'm sorry? I'll just go to jail then. How much time do I have to do? Because I can't afford it right now. My family needs this money for the rent and the car. So you need to, if you like, go ahead and resolve, if you like, go ahead and fight against the internal revenue service. And if you found any guilty inside of the courthouse, IRS will sue you up to seventy to $75,000. The first infringement will be the five years. I might just have to do the five years. When when can I get a court date? Today, Charles, we'll go. Uh, once you go out and disconnect the client, uh, we'll go ahead and release your court subpoena and your your name. So the police will come here to my place. Yes, exactly. Okay. Is there anything I should bring with me to the jail or no? I'm sorry. Is there anything I should bring with me or no? Do they want me to wait inside my residence or wait outside? I can, whatever you are, so, uh, right now the county service department will track your number and they'll, they will be reaching there wherever you are. No, I'm already, so you might get a chance. I'm already, I'm already home. I'll just wait for them here. All right. You can wait for a local county service department. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Hello?